Hey everybody, this is just a quick video showing how to remove and install these uh, now rather obsolete convex um, freeze plugs. Uh, some people call them frost plugs. I've heard these called expansion plugs and they are also known as Welsh plugs. What they do is uh, um, on these older tractor engines, we're talking 50 plus year old technology here, the uh, core holes in the water jackets were not bored cleanly all the way through to accept a modern style cup plug like everybody's more familiar with today. Instead they used these uh, convex shaped plugs that would go in the hole and bottom out around the shoulder and then you would just wrap the center of these things. They would expand out, seal the hole and uh, they worked pretty well. I'll do a quick demonstration here on uh, how these things actually are installed and then how to remove them again. So what you want to do obviously is put them in with the domed portion up they just go right in the hole and they bottom out against that shoulder in there. Then you want to take a rather wide uh, punch or drift, if you will, center it on the plug and give it a couple pretty good wraps. Just about like that. And all you need to do is just dimple the surface a little bit. What that does is it actually mashes that domed portion out and expands the plug in this bore. The plug will actually deform somewhat to seal around that uh, smooth machined area and get your water jacket all sealed up. Some people like to put a little bit of sealer around these to kind of help them seal. Some people don't. Some people say that'll give you problems. I'm not going to get into that whole debate. This is just about the style of plugs that these old engines take and how to install and then remove them. So we got this one installed. Um, it should be pretty good to seal like that. Now to remove one of these, you'll just take a smaller diameter punch and again, you want to drive it onto the center of the plug and this is kind of like it was installing it but what you want to do is just continue driving the plug in until it starts recessing down into the bore and that's going to actually cause this outer diameter to kind of curl itself out and it's going to loosen the whole plug. There it looks like it loosened up. I'll get a magnet and just like that it comes right back out. Of course by this point this plug is destroyed. They're a one-time use only deal. You'd have to get another new plug if you wanted to seal that bore again. So hopefully that answers some of the questions I've been getting. I've been asked several times now on this Minneapolis Moline and also a couple times on that Ford 8N engine that I rebuilt about this time last year uh, if I've been putting these plugs in backwards because you know people expect to see something like this but they're actually seeing something that looks more like that. Almost like this style plug has been put in wrong when it's been these uh, these convex style Welsh plugs the whole time. So hopefully you enjoyed that uh, demonstration. I wanted to make this video uh, mainly because I really couldn't see or find anything else on YouTube that really showed a good demonstration of how these were uh, installed and removed again. So as always guys, I thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Hope to see you back next time.